in this video we will study about a repressible operon system this is the second video of gene regulation in first video we have discussed inducible operon system now what is repressible operon system this is this operon system is studied in echerichia coli during formation of tryptophan from chorismic acid tryptophan it is an amino acid so that's why it is called as tryptophan or trip operon system now this is called as repression because here tryptophan which is the end product along with the repressor this can repress the uh, or you can this can switch off the gene so this is called as a repressible operon system and usually this is studied during anabolic pathways anabolic pathway is when some synthesis occurs this is called as anabolic pathway now this operon system is made up of structural genes now these are the structural genes then this is promoter this is operator regulator so in addition to a uh, promoter operator regulator and structural gene this also has aporepressor corepressor and attenuator one by one we'll discuss in detail so this is the r is for regulatory gene p is for promoter gene o is for operator gene and trip e d c b a these are structural genes now what are structural genes do now these structural genes they help in formation of rnas they undergo transcription and then they help in formation of protein so this is about uh, repressible tryptophan operon system which is made up of uh, this is the part of the dna which is made up of various kinds of genes now these are structural genes uh, this is operator this is promoter which is recognized by rna polymerase and this is the regulator gene we'll discuss all the genes in detail first we'll discuss about structural genes as we know structural genes they are involved in formation of rna now when dna is produced from rna this process is called as transcription now this messenger rna with the help of ribosomal rna and transfer rna this can help in formation of polypeptide or protein now these polypeptides they can be enzymatic in nature so they help in formation of various kinds of enzyme now this operon has five structural genes trip e d c b and a now by transcription they are going to form rnas and these rnas they are going to form various kinds of proteins now this is enzyme e this is enzyme d this is enzyme c this is enzyme b, b and this is enzyme a now these enzymes they will catalyze uh, multi step reactions and help in formation of an amino acid called as tryptophan now this tryptophan is being synthesized from the chorismic acid now these are the enzymes but this is the amino acid which is being synthesized from the chorismic acid so this is a multi step reaction now next we'll discuss about operator gene now as we know these are the structural genes and this one is the operator gene now operator gene controls the functioning of the structural genes now when operator gene is switched on then only they will form rnas they can undergo transcription and if this is blocked this is switched off then these structural genes will not form rna rna will not be produced so this operator gene is important for the functioning of the Uh, structural gene this, so this control the transcription process or uh, uh, formation of various kinds of protein from the structural genes now this operator gene when this is blocked by the repressor repressor is produced from the regulator gene now this repressor is not sufficient to block the operator gene so tryptophan along with the repressor will block the operator gene uh, that will discuss later on next is promoter gene now this part this is the promoter gene this part is the promoter gene now this is the gene to which rna polymerase will recognize this will bind to this area if operator is functional then this will help structural genes to form the messenger rna or transcription process and further formation of the protein so this is promoter gene so this is the site for binding to enzyme rna polymerase which will travel from promoter to operator then to the structural genes for the formation of rna if gene is switched on now what is the function of regulator gene 
now this area this is called as a regulator gene now this regulator gene will form a protein now this protein is called as a repressor now this repressor cannot completely block the operator gene this need to have co repressor so in this uh, operon system when tryptophan is then end product if tryptophan is exceeded uh, like if whatever requirement of tryptophan is in a cell if its uh, production increases then tryptophan will along with this repressor this will act as co repressor and they will block this operator region and when this operator region is blocked so these structural genes they will not form rna so this is blocked and transcription will not take place and translation will not a uh, translation will also not occur so this is reg this regulator gene is going to form a protein and this protein is called as apo repressor and this requires co repressor tryptophan for blocking the operator gene so this is very important for the functioning of the operator gene and when this is removed then only operator gene will function and help in formation of rna now next we'll discuss about apo repressor as we said regulator gene will form rna and this will form a protein called as apo repressor now this apo repressor along with co repressor here co repressor is tryptophan this both will block this operator gene and there is no formation of rna and protein if it is blocked but if it is free then only enzymes they are produced so this is called as apo repressor apo repressor is the protein which is being synthesized from the regulatory gene so this along with the co repressor can block the operator gene so this is the apo repressor and this is the co repressor now as we discussed what is co repressor it is the end product that is tryptophan when tryptophan is not required by the cell and this is not even proteinaceous in nature because this is an amino acid so along with apo repressor this can block the operator gene like we have discussed so when uh, end product is inhibiting its own formation this is also called as feedback inhibition so in trip operon tryptophan function as co repressor now next what is anti attenuator attenuator is actually this is an uh, internal termination of the transcription uh, so this will not allow rna polymerase to move over the structural genes for the formation of the rnas like here uh, like we know this is promoter this is operator and this part is called as attenuator so this is an intrinsic termination which will not allow these genes to function or help in formation of rna or help in formation of the protein so this is all about structure of uh, tryptophan operon system now we will study about all over structure of trip operon like here we can see here uh, this is the regulator gene this is forming uh, rna by transcription and then this is forming protein this is called as apo repressor this is the promoter gene which is recognized by rna polymerase now rna polymerase along with the operator this can move to the structural genes for the formation of rna and protein now uh, formation of rna is called as transcription and formation of protein is called as translation so these are various enzymes which uh, during a multi step reaction help in formation of the tryptophan so corismic acid will help in formation of tryptophan tryptophan it is an amino acid and when its uh, formation has exceeded the threshold level I mean it is not required by the cell then this will act as co repressor along with apo repressor this will block the operator gene and no formation of rna and no formation of protein will take place so this is all about trip operon system of tryptophan or repressible operon system thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe